Today we are talking about gas chromatography. As I understand it is called gas chromatograph. The main part of gas chromatograph is the, is the oven, which contain the most important part, which is the column. The column is very long column, so it's called as we can see. Before the column we have the injector through which the sample is injected and after the column we have the detector and also there is a gas supply working as a mobile phase. After the detector there is a computer which integrates the peaks and draw the chromatograph. We will talk about each part separately. First, the injector. As we can see, the injector has inlet for the tire gas at the left and a split outlet or split vent at the right. The function of the split outlet is to withdraw large amount of the sample and the carrier gas especially in case of capillary column which has a very small amount of stationary phase and thus can accommodate large amount of the sample as we can see large portion of the red sample was withdrawn the column when the sample reaches the column the components interact with the stationary phase in different way as we can see the blue compound is moving faster than the yellow compound which means it is less retained on the stationary phase or has lower boiling point than the yellow compound so it's moving faster and we will see that it will reach the detector before the yellow one the now the flow compound entering the detector our detector in this instrument is a flame ionization detector the flow compound is permeated in the flame producing electrons the electrons produce current and the computer will convert this current into a peak as you can see then the flow compound enters the detector permeated producing a current 